Hey fishos, welcome to Attic Tackle How To's. My name is Jason. Um, today I'm gonna to run through some of this season's best sellers lure wise for our fresh water, our salt water and our estuary fishing. A um, few tips and advice, a few honest opinions on what we use. Hopefully we can steer you in the right direction and give you a basic knowledge for what you need to do. Follow me this way. So generally summer months from your bass and things like that, which they've been chewing, cicada's been a little bit late this year. Um, so surface hasn't been firing like we expected to. They're still eating the surface. Um, so cicada side, when I'm using those, look, my soft shells are a cracking item that have been around for a bit. Uh, people that know, know about them. Uh, they are a soft, lure you can squish them in that so fish tend to have a strike if you miss that strike doesn't happen too often they will come back and have a belt at it again feels natural the fish don't shy off um, biggest thing with these being soft as opposed to a plastic one is when we do do our cast they land in the water they go plop like a natural sort of fall um, plastic stuff sometimes in a quiet environment you get that slap when it hits the water and it can deter them if the fish are quite picky so my soft shelves, one of my best in those. The cichlids in the mega bass, cracking little lure as well. I don't know if you get a side on image on that fella. Single hook under the bottom, great hook up rate on those guys uh, and a great form of lure in general. Um, what else have you? Mahi cats from Tiemco as well. So these guys here, very early on the market, but just that subsurface thing at the moment, if those cicadas and that aren't working, um, you get six inches under the water and you'll start turning real straight away. That's how a hell of a lot of fish are being caught at the moment. So these little guys, little swim bait thing, you pay a little bit more for them, but it's those certain days that uh, all my other stuff isn't working and these guys will draw the fish. So crack a little lure for what they are. So one of my all time favorites for the season, personal favorites uh, are these Shimano Bantams. Um, these guys have been a cracking little lure for what they are. I don't know if that's presenting well in there. Little jointed swim bait, uh, subsurface. Um, you can get them down under a slow roll as well. They do everything for me. These guys on the bass this year have just gone a whole nother level. So it's great to find a new lure that does the trick. Um, and these generally I go for my soft shells. Um, I'll also go for my D styles and things like that, which I'll if you come down this way, I'll come and show you one quickly. Little D-styles in the shark sort of thing. So that's two of the main things that I pretty much will be throwing this time of year in amongst my cicadas and that. Get onto them, nice lure. So they're some of my top fives uh, for your freshwater fishing. Fish those lures with confidence. Now I'll roll through a few for you guys for the estuary. So summer months at the moment sort of thing. So jacks have been probably one of the highlight uh, fish season that we've had this year. Um, quite a constant talk. So I'll run through a few of my personal favorites, uh, a few of the boys use and some of our top sellers in the shop, so to speak. So. First of all, I'll start with me Lucky Crafts in general. Crack and Jack lure, been around for a bit. Suspending lure, cast like a bullet, do everything right. So uh, some of the hooks you get with them, uh, gal, some you have decoys, which are quite good. So pay attention to what hooks you got on there. If you're not happy, you're not confident, don't be afraid to upgrade. Um, crack and lure for what they are. Um, my G splashes, always run me G splashes around top of the tide around some of me marker boys and things like that on the crack of daylight. These things just go a whole nother level for what they are if you're looking for that big bloop. Um, look, uh, new moon time, I will fish more uh, pro, uh, plastic profile and things like that. Full moon time, it's prawn, 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 prawn. Anything prawn profile, especially the pops. Um, your MMDs have just been going bananas this year. Um, cracking lure for what they are, great presentation. Some people uh, apply cysts to them, some people upgrade their hooks. You do what you want to do where your confidence is, but straight out of the box, they're fishing great, balance well. And these guys, look, it's not a matter of uh, getting it out there and going pop, pop, pop. No, it's not like that at all. You've got to have a look at a prawn and how it travels and how it flees and base your casting and your working your lure on those. So for me, especially if I'm getting it close into stones, close into structure, 
It's short little stabs that are about that long. Tap, tap, tap. Let it pause for a bit. Give it a good three to five seconds. Tap, tap, tap again. So you work it out as you go. So you build your confidence in it. Everyone's throwing them. So they're a good lure. Good to get in amongst the mix with. And then you've got smaller profiles on them as well, uh, which still draw the fish. They will draw a smaller fish um, in doing it, but sometimes they're eating a smaller profile. So you will pull a 50 on these guys too sometimes. It's just a matter of keeping the hooks in them and make sure your hooks are nice and strong. Uh, what else did I have there? Like his Emmy Sugar Deeps. So cracking all time for them, slow troll along the walls. Um, same deal, nice hunch on the back. I've plugged these guys before uh, for that reason. They're a lure that I pretty much will throw on. Hooks are set up, swims faultless, never fails, and a balanced cast. A balanced cast is always heaven when you're doing consistent casts um, of an afternoon. Right, so on the plastic side of things, back to that prawn imitation sort of profile. One of my personal favourites are these live targets. It's not only good jacks I've got on these, I've got some decent flathead on these guys as well. Um, surprisingly enough, fish these guys into the dark um, and you'll be surprised what they'll do for you. So they've been a great profile for what I like to do. Um, McCarthy's, look, McCarthy baits turned it on for us. They're cracking big paddle tails for what we want. Um, some we get a few more in a pack to some other packets sometimes, so it's good bang for buck. Particular colours that are working fine. These guys are great, look. Um, nice, resilient, plucky, easy to rig on, on, your, uh, on your gear in general. And um, look, that pontoon work, that fast burn, those slow hops, whatever you want to do, they're fishing quite well. Right, so pretty much well, one of my all-time favourites are the RT Shads. So, um, put onto them quite a few years ago, crack and lure. Everyone that knows about them knows how good they fish. Um, they are a little bit of a soft, uh, softer plastic, so if you've got to manhandle them too much, re-rigging them, things like that, you can damage them a bit. Um, but for the fish that they produce, it is thoroughly worth it. So the RT's cracking, they've got new versions and shorter ones now, um, which is quite good on the three and a halves and that. So you've got, you got a bit, of mix, bit to mix up with, same deal, guaranteed swimmer, good looking lure. Uh, and a great profile, different colours if you want to mimic those potty mullet, those herring and that sort of stuff. So they fish really well. And then your original, your diesel minnows and things like that, always been a cracker, a staple player for a lot of the boys. So you don't have to particularly use these brands. It's not about the brand, it's about that profile. So if you can resemble something in that profile and colour, um, you'll still turn reels. So it's just a matter of doing a bit of research um, get back to the same point. If you guys are not sure, we're full of information here. Um, you'll get an honest tip and an honest opinion. So I gave you a few tips for Christmas on a few offshore uh, lures that work quite good in close and out a little bit wider here. So um, didn't tell you as a lie, they've been our hottest sellers right through this season so far. So I'll roll through them with you again, which I'll start with me. Little Xerix, as you know, always push these guys. High speed troller, get them dancing. It's toothy critter time, so we've got pelagics uh, pretty much all everywhere. They like their lures towed quite fast. So it's got to be a lure that performs. Um, these guys, I've had the boat up to 25 kilometres an hour, being lazy, changing from one reef to another, not pulling it in, and the damn things still stay in the water. So, cracking little lure for what you want to do. No upgrades in the hardware, put it straight on, start towing, away you go. So, my little Xerix, straight to my Rapalas, in my Extreme Mags, always push me Extreme Mags. So, when the big hoo and that start coming around, um, that's one of my main favourites, these guys. Same deal, troll them quite hard. Uh, physically standard hooks so far, landed fish up to 50 kilos on them, so uh, quite a good hardy lure. Um, sort of lure you leave in your tackle box the next season, they still look the same, look great. Do good. From those, me Nomads, and me DTXs, 165s. Uh, can't go wrong with these, uh, do got to watch them though, they, they are a self-tuning lure and that sort of stuff, so uh, beating around wrong environment and that they won't swim properly, look after them and they will produce for you guys. Um, cracking little design and it gets that bit of depth when need be. And then your Halcos, good all around staple, been around for years. 
quite a few people. This is their staple player. So if you can base on those five sort of, four or five sort of points on your hard bodies, back to the same point, they don't have to resemble uh, the brands that we're going. If you've got the same profile in another variant, get into it, but you must know they swim right. Don't be afraid to run uh, wire on them. Um, some of the ones you will pay 30 and 40 bucks a pop, so we do want to get them back. Um, fish are chewing, wire won't cause you any grief whatsoever. So good all rounder, and then there'll be a couple little pakulas, a couple little skirts, like standard things that don't run skirts too much. They do produce well, little yellowfin and all that. Um, but back to what I said in the last one, it's, I don't get many of my skirts back when I'm towing them inside of sort of 60 metres of water. Um, all the toothy critters are there and Razor Gang will chew things to pieces. So look, one of the biggest sellers I've had this season um, have been the loco prawns. Um, look, one of my favourite lures in general, Estuary Offshore, which we've got new offshore version now. Uh, some people might say, oh, it's a rip-off of another company. Well, no, it's a, a same profile, different design, different weights, different addings on it, and a cracking quality hook. Bigger assist, because a lot of good fish are, are eating them. There's 29-odd species of fish being caught on them now. Um, awesome little profile, weight size. We've got our offshore section, which we're starting to run now. It's been three weeks we've been starting to run them. Uh, the reports we've been getting are ridiculous. So the heavier weight class are fishing up to 50 odd metres of water, so they're getting down quite hard. Uh, a lot of people said, oh, the vibration is going to scare the fish away. My God, the vibration is drawing in fish like you wouldn't believe. So we've got good spanglies coming on them, up to seven kilos of reports. Some guys seen quite, quite good photos on them, not just one or two. Um, but three, and the hooks have been staying there good as gold. Uh, some of my early ones that I've used have got old a bit. Um, some of the other versions I use, my hooks within a week or two are, are corroded away. These guys here, leave them on two, three months, haven't washed a lure, my hooks are still there. And they're a cracking little lure. So it's just a common thing. People come in asking for the shop. I've got one customer that physically buys eight and nine at a time. So it's that back to the same deal. You build confidence in a lure, you stick with that lure. So hopefully those few little lures that I went through then will give you a few insights, whether you're offshore, river, whatnot. Um, if you do get a fish on something that we did recommend you to, let us know in the comments below. In general, happy fishing.